Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Anya. First of all, thank you for subscribing to my channel and uh, giving me so much of love and support in my previous videos. Even when I'm very inconsistent with my videos and also sorry at the same time for not being consistent. So yes, so please do consider subscribing if you're watching my video for the first time. today's video we're gonna talk about sunscreens everything that you need to know about sunscreens you're gonna find it in this video i have uh, listed down all the important points i'm going to talk about all the uh, you know types of sunscreens that are available in the market if you're someone who doesn't like to wear sunscreen or if there are so many sunscreens you know which uh, do not suit um, acne prone or sensitive skin therefore uh, we tend to avoid sunscreens but yes in this video i'm gonna try to help you out to choose sunscreen that suits the best for your skin right so yes without any further ado let's get started with the video what are sunscreens sunscreens or sunblock is basically a photoprotective tropical product it either absorbs or reflects uv rays uh, thus, it helps prevent your skin from sunburn and most importantly from skin cancer and also aging. What is a photoprotective tropical product? Basically, it's simply it's a product that helps in reduction of the UV rays. Okay, so in simple terms, we can say that sunscreens or sunblock it helps uh, to protect your skin from sun damage or the uh, protects our skin from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun and the second point is why do we need sunscreens by now almost all of us know that sun rays causes tanning onto our skin but it has got much more harmful effects onto our skin than tanning sun rays have harmful ultraviolet rays uh, for example, UVA, B and C along with other visible lights. Now, UVC gets absorbed into the ozone layer, but um, uh, UVA causes uh, skin aging and skin cancer, whereas UVB causes uh, tanning, for example, sunburn. Now that we are done with what are sunscreens and why do we need to sun wear sunscreens, now let's talk about what are the types of sunscreens that are available in the market. So basically there are two types. Now don't get confused uh, between types and formulation because we are going to talk about formulation later in this video just after this topic. So don't get confused, okay? So basically, there are two types. One, ek hai, you know, physical, or ek hai, apka chemical. If you remember, in the very beginning of uh, this video, when we were talking about what are sunscreens, uh, I mentioned that it either absorbs or reflect. And vehi abhi hum log, we are going to talk about it, okay? So there are two types of sunscreens, ek hai physical or ek hai chemical. Now, physical kya hai? Ye mineral uh, based hai. Now, physical sunscreens or sunblock is basically contains zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. Isme kya hota hai? Isme uh, UVAs reflect hota hai and uh, या तो ये scatter होता है, ठीक है? मतलब it either reflects the UV rays or it scatters them. और uh, skin पे एक white cast रहता है. So it's really good for sensitive skin because वो absorb नहीं होता है skin के अंदर क्योंकि UV rays और uh, you would uh, you know a lot of us we um, Jinka especially, I don't know, because I have suffered from acne prone skin, so I can 
tell you better i was a teenager you know i never liked wearing sunscreens because it used to burn my skin it used to uh, you know eat a lot rashes ho jata tha and you know even uh, if you like notice when you wear or uh, your sunscreen around the eyes it kind of you know have that slight burning sensation it's because of the chemical sunscreen okay which we are going to learn right now so chemical sunscreens it basically absorbs the uv rays and that is the reason we feel that irritation or burning sensation okay on to our skin so if you go to a dermatologist they would always recommend you like if you are especially acne prone skin or if you have got cystic acne they would always recommend you to wear sunscreens but most of us we uh, don't like wearing those sunscreens because it leaves a white cast on to our face this is the main difference ek mein uva rays ko reflect hota hai jo ki hai physical sunscreen jo bahut hi acha hai sensitive skin ke liye uh, acne prone skin ke liye overall har kisi ke liye ye bahut hi ek acha sunscreen hota hai matlab is type ka physical sunscreen better hota hai chemical sunscreen se and um, yeah so and also for you know pregnant ladies physical sunscreens are really good for pregnant ladies now the ingredients that are mostly used in chemical sunscreens are uh, abibenzone oxybenzone peba and salicylates i hope i pronounced all the names correctly uh, so yes that's how you can differentiate between a physical sunscreen and a chemical sunscreen right? now most of the sunscreens that are available in the market are mainly chemical sunscreens or dono ka combination milta hai kyunki sirf physical sunscreen we do not have good physical sunscreens available uh, in the market in the indian market right now because even if they say that it is a physical sunscreen it is not completely a physical sunscreen it's it's a combination of both okay now if you really want to use a physical sunscreen like a proper physical sunscreen then you can go to a medical shop and get zinc oxide or just keep the ingredients that i have mentioned in physical sunscreen in mind and you can get a tube of that also if you do not mind having that white cast on your face now let's talk about formulation of sunscreens uh first we have tinted sunscreen which contains zinc oxide and iron oxide which is really good for sensitive or acne prone skin you must have seen sunscreens that look similar to makeup those are tinted sunscreens so next we have matte sunscreens which looks invisible and these sunscreens are really good for oily skin type then we have gel sunscreens these are also good for oily skin sensitive skin acne prone skin then we have cream or lotion sunscreens these are really good for uh dry dehydrated skin uh because it contains uh hyaluronic acid and ceramides then we have emulsion sunscreens which are really good for oily skin again lightweight non sticky water based does not clog pores and lastly we have silicone sunscreen which are again good for oily skin now don't get confused between oily skin and sensitive skin you know uh, a lot of us we have oily skin but we are we do not have sensitive skin then there are people who have dry skin but they have sensitive or acne prone skin so keep these these things in mind it's now time to choose your sunscreen you must be very confused uh, at this moment which one should you go for so i have noted down few points which you need to keep in mind before you uh, go out and buy any sunscreen okay so the first thing that you have to keep in mind is your skin type 
whether it's sensitive it's uh, dry dehydrated are you uh, in the age group of 18 to 25 or uh, teenager or say someone who has a uh, really oily skin okay so or if uh, you're someone who wears makeup on a daily basis so these are the things that you have to keep in mind first now next we have that we have to look for a sunscreen that has broad spectrum uh, broad spectrum means uh, a sunscreen which has spf as well as pa plus 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 minimum of three plus okay now spf like i have mentioned uh, previously as well that spf uh, you know uh, is uh, is a parameter uh, to determine uh, how much is this sunscreen going to protect your skin from the sun rays for an example if your sunscreen has uh, spf of 15 see it has 93 percent protection if it's a 30 then it has got 97 percent of protection now if your spf is 50 then it will protect your skin 98 percent now pa again like i say that um it is important minimum of three plus is very much important now the next point is ingredient list which is very and the most important part you can see uh, so your sunscreen should not contain any essential oil uh, no alcohol and no fragrance okay so these are the three ingredients uh, which you have to uh, keep in mind before you buy any sunscreen now that you have learned quite a lot about sunscreens it's time to know how to apply sunscreens correctly so the very first thing is to have a clean base you should always do your morning skincare first because mm, what happens you know we uh, use uh, certain products at night say for an example we use night creams uh, which are designed specifically to be used at night so when it is exposed uh, under the sun rays it's it it causes damage to our skin so it is very important that you remove your uh, overnight creams that you have used and uh, just clean your face use your proper morning skincare routine uh, clean your face use a toner uh, use your serums moisturizer and finally sabse last mein aapko sunscreen use karna hai now one more very important point that you must remember that if you are using any serum or uh, say any uh, moisturizer or any cream for that matter which has got l ascorbic acid then please avoid it because it is low in ph which is acidic and when uh, exposed to the sun it can cause irritation or redness onto your skin so uh, not all vitamin c creams or serums comes in l ascorbic acid uh, it contains even uh, there are you know uh, other vitamin c products as well which do not contain l ascorbic acid so you can go for those vitamin uh, c products now roughly take about one teaspoon full of sunscreen which is equal to your two fingers length of sunscreen for your entire face and neck now do not forget to reapply your sunscreen every two to three hours from 9 a.m to 5 p.m now if you're going out then make sure that you're applying your sunscreen 15 to 30 minutes prior to that okay and do not forget to wear your sunglasses and full sleeve clothes because yes we can try to protect ourselves as much as possible we are almost done with the video but I'm going to show you a uh, few
few different types of sunscreens that I have currently and I hope it would be helpful for you guys uh, based on your skin type okay so the first one I have is from Requil Ultra Matte Dry Touch Sunscreen Gel uh, it says water sweat resistant perfect under makeup with eye ear protection non comedogenic all skin types now this is a really good sunscreen uh, if you have oily skin or if you do not like uh, to wear sunscreen or if your sunscreen feel really heavy onto your skin it uh, it's a silicon based sunscreen which is very lightweight and uh, though it says non comedogenic but I sometimes do get breakouts from this but not always um, it's yes it's sweat resistant and it is really uh, perfect to wear under your makeup it works really well under your makeup okay so if you are someone with oily skin or you do not like to wear sunscreen then you can try this sunscreen it gives you that nice velvety texture onto your skin it is a silicon based uh, sunscreen uh, though it says again it's non comedogenic but sometimes or if you have very sensitive or acne prone skin then please do avoid it okay so the next one we have is again from requil it's the oxy benzone and omc free sunscreen uh this is all uh, one more thing i always like to buy sunscreen which is a broad spectrum uh it should have uh spf of 50 and minimum uh three plus for uh pa triple plus yes so again this is a great sunscreen for uh dry skin people if you're if you suffer from you know uh, very dehydrated or dry skin then you can use this sunscreen also it is good for sensitive skin yes it is a non comedogenic it uh, but it's not good for uh, oily skin okay though it says it's good for oily or acne prone skin uh, acne prone is still fine if you have normal skin yet you suffer from acne or if you have dry skin you suffer from acne this would work really good for you but if you have oily skin on top of that you break out a lot then this is not going to work well for you okay otherwise overall it's a good sunscreen okay next i have is the neutrogena sheer zinc dry touch sunscreen again it's a, a broad spectrum sunscreen uh, it's it's a really good sunscreen for oily skin or acne prone skin okay uh, it says silky finish oil free ultra light it does exactly uh, what it says except Except for the fact it leaves white cast onto your face other than that this sunscreen is a great sunscreen it did not break me out even for one day and uh, it's very lightweight it's very lightweight uh, your feel does your skin does not feel heavy uh, at all okay but uh, if you wear makeup then it will not work for you okay uh, so next we have again if you have dry skin it's not going to work for your skin type okay next uh, i have the ultra sheer dry touch sunblock now this sunscreen will work for oily skin people as well as dry skin people this is a very good sunscreen except for the fact it's uh, it's a uh, uh, now most of the sunscreens are uh, chemical sunscreens uh, except for this one because it clearly says that it's sheer zinc this is a physical sunscreen rest all our chemical sunscreens now this is a really good sunscreen uh, again uh, as I mentioned it's a good sunscreen for dry skin as well as oily skin people but uh, you know I always I don't know if it's with me or just to let me know if you have a 
कि वेन एवर आई यूज यू नो केमिकल सनस्क्रीन अराउंड माई आईज माई आईज रियली इरिटेट्स अ लॉट एंड यू नो इट गिवस मी दैट बर्निंग सेंसेशन अराउंड माई आईज बट यू नो आई हैव नेवर फेल्ट एनी थिंग ऑफ दैट सॉर्ट विद दी दिस सनस्क्रीन ओके फिजिकल सनस्क्रीन नेवर क्रिएट्स एनी इरिटेशन अराउंड माई आईज ओके सो दिस इज दैट इज वन ऑफ द मेजर फैक्ट वाई आई रियली लव दिस सनस्क्रीन एंड येस Uh, but if you uh, wear makeup then this sunscreen will definitely make your makeup oxidize yes that's one thing that you have to keep in mind if you're going for this sunscreen this is going to make your uh, makeup you know look little bit darker uh, later pehle uh, to you will not realize it but you know baad mein jaake ye thoda sa aap even if your makeup doesn't oxidize this sunscreen will make your makeup look oxidize a bit okay uh so yes these all mostly all are uh dermatologist tested it's mentioned here and waterproof so yes i told you uh ek to ho gaya aapka dry skin and oily skin ये हो गया स्पेसिफिकली फॉर एक्ने प्रोन एंड ऑयली स्किन पीपल देन यू हैव अनादर सनस्क्रीन फॉर ड्राई स्किन पीपल देन फाइनली इट्स दिस सनस्क्रीन इज अ सिलिकॉन बेस्ड सनस्क्रीन विच वर्क रियली वेल फॉर ऑयली स्किन पीपल दोज यू हैव यू नो दोज यू वेयर मेकअप ऑन रेगुलर बेसिस सो दिस वर्क रियली वेल now there are a lot of uh, ingredients which might not uh, work according to your skin type so you need to keep those things in mind like i have mentioned so yeah but um, you know i uh, just to give reviews and just to test products and moreover there are not you know uh, much uh, sunscreens available in the indian market under a budget that works well so isi mein se kaam to chalana hai or if you have anything in mind ki aapko kisi bhi cheez ke bare mein koi bhi review chahiye to wo bhi aap log mujhe bol sakte ho and if you want uh, a dedicated video on um, sunscreens that are available in the indian market according to your skin type then do let me know uh, i'm going to test it on uh, myself and also on people uh, those who have uh, acne prone or say dry skin and then i'm going to share my review with uh, tried and tested uske baad hi i'm going to review it for you guys so for that do let me know in the comment section down below and also please do subscribe to my channel help me grow my youtube channel and also if you found this video helpful please let me know by liking this video and yes yeah, share it with your friends and family so that they also get uh you know some sort of thoda bahut kuch help ho jaye un logo ka bhi so yes uh this was it for today's video i'm going to see you in my next video until then please do take care and bye bye mwah bye